So hello everybody, my name is Jamila and welcome back for some more The Walking Dead Season 2. Who the fuck was that back there? I don't know. Looked like he had a gun on you. That asshole drew on me. He was about to shoot. Oh, was he? I'm telling you, man, he drew first. Everybody calm down. What did you see, Clem? Is that guy gonna shoot? Fuck you, Luke. You've been on my case the whole week. And why do you think that is, Nick? Because you're an asshole? He wasn't gonna do anything. I know what I saw. Either way, you could have hit one of us. Yeah, but I didn't. Look, I, I know Pete was close to you, Nick, but you can't- Don't fucking talk about him. You think he was with Carver? I don't know. I- No, I don't think so. But he fell over. He fell off the damn bridge? We have to keep moving. I can't. I need a minute. Fine. Look, can I talk to you alone? Hey, Clem, you got anything to eat? Bex dying here. Alvin, I told you I'm fine. Sorry, I'm out. Wish we still had those juice boxes. Yeah, me too. That man said he had food in the station. Mind checking it out? Maybe we could spend the night here. A little small for us, though. Sure. Thanks, Clem. Lazy. Okay, I'll do everything myself. Uh, let's talk to Nick first. Thanks a lot for backing me up there. I'm sure they're talking about me right now. Luke, he's becoming a danger to the group. So who was that guy? I swear. It looked like he was holding you guys up. I figured he was with Carver. He seemed nice. Damn. If Alvin is in front of me, he takes that shot. What a fucking mess. Maybe I am losing it. I don't know anymore. God, I'm hungry. What time is it anyway? What's wrong? I left my watch back at the cabin. It was Pete's. He gave it to me. That's all I had left of him. You know what? I'm gonna go talk to them. That worked out nicely. Don't see a key around here. That man probably had it. Well, that's not good. Oh, there's a knife. Feels pretty good. Uh, what else can we loot? Radio. It's dead. Figures. Uh, there's not much else in here. Better go tell Alvin. Rebecca, are you okay? I'm all right. I just need a little rest. And some food. Alvin. Well, sort of don't have any food. Unless I missed something. Can I walk around the back? Oh, they fixed that thing in season one where... It, um, when you change the camera angle, it would not change the stick movement with it, so you'd end up walking in a direction you didn't want to go. Oh. 
could have used a hunting knife. If that's gonna break it though. Apparently not. Two cans of food. Man, not thought we had a bed. Look at this dump. Guess he did have food. Man, fuck Nick. Nick's lost a lot of his people, that's for sure. But that doesn't give him any excuse to start shooting up strangers. He was trying to help us. Yeah, and someone died. I ain't no judge, but that's straight up murder in my book. I mean, you ever know anyone to do a thing like that? Lots of people. It happens all the time now. It's fucking crazy. Pardon my French. That's funny. She looks just like you. Not even close. Hey, Clem, there's not a lot of food here, and Rebecca, well, she's eating for two. You think we can keep this just between us? I hate to even say it, you know, but... And I'd never go against the group, but I've got to put Beck and the baby first. You understand, right? I'm sorry. I shouldn't have put you in that position. It's a shame. Nick was a good guy. He's still a good guy. He's just losing it. God knows we're not perfect. Hell, I'm glad you're with us, Clementine. The hell is that? Walkers. Walkers. We got a problem here. Yeah, we saw it. All right, we're heading up. <laughs> Well, what are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nail down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. <laughs> That's nice, Clementine. That's nice. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. <laughs> Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. Well, that sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> the trick was not to look down, though. Oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? Got your grip? I know I'm fine. Just trying to help. There was no, like, nice answer for that. Quite a nice view, actually. Made it. You see anything? The bridge. I can see the bridge. Oh. Some headlights. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. But wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Oh, I can't see. Wait. Wait. 
Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. That Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No way. Oh. Please, just do what he says. Kenny! Kenny! Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. I can't believe he's alive. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart some bitch. Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm... Us. Good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Ooh, toasty fire. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh, shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? Uh. I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while, but these guys caught us. She's gone. 
Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. Krista got in a hell of a mess. I gave her a hand and then it got messier. For a minute there, it wasn't looking too good for old Kenny. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? All right. Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. Matthew and I barely knew what to do around here the first week. But Kenny, well, he never slows down. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. It hasn't been easy. I can imagine. It's hard enough as an adult. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? I'm gonna ask what it is, but I'm pretty sure it's just beans. What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. What's it? Anyway, I'll take it from here. <laughs> Look around the lodge. That looks nothing like Clementine. I'm gonna play that so I can make noise. Uh, let's see what they're getting up to. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. But you must be so glad. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little... Coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. Find the tree topper. There was a duck on the floor. We could use the duck. What's gone? There was a duck here. What a funny little guy. 
looks good. The only like criticism I have about these games is the fact that the ca crazy. the characters walk so slow. This far. You can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? So She's lights. got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. Something's wrong. They have the same kind of food that we found in the station. What? That doesn't mean anything. It could have been stolen. What if it wasn't? Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Let's see what they are up to. Oh. Let's get an angel for, um, for Sarah. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. So I call him Maddie now. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Huh. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He has good days and bad days like everyone else. But lately I get the feeling he's struggling. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? I was just there. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? Everything's so fucked up. I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's going to be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. You want to listen? That food smells good, huh? It's okay. Can I? She's going to be a runner. It's not his. Whose is it then? If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. He won't kill you. 
There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Oh, in this version, season two, there seems to be a bit of a frozen moment between scenes. I still can't believe Kenny's alive. That's such good news. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Really? You're gonna make me pick between Luke and Kenny? Well, this doesn't time me. Thank you for that. This is the cruelest decision in the world. I mean, I love Kenny. But Luke has been so good to Clementine. Sorry, Kim. I gotta go with Luke. Ah! Oh. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this, Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. Damn. He did the best he could. I'm sure he did. It was really hard on everyone. I bet. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. What kind of place? A good one, Einstein. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winters so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Oh, Kenny. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time. But that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. 
you get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. What do you say? Will you help me work on them? The two of us must unify our factions for the common good. You know, like Churchill and Roosevelt. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Nah. Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. I think Matthew was the guy that Nick shot. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. It's nothing. Forget it. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I don't know. So she's 11. I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Clementine, don't freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. I knew it. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. Now they're all worried he's not back yet. I know he was. For sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. I won't say anything. Okay. Okay, good. Now, do you, uh, you still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? 
Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, something like that. Luke? Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. I know. What, you don't trust me now? I trust Nick. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. God damn it, Nick. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? You don't know he'll do anything. Well, are you kidding me? Nick, you shot his friend. Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? Whew. It's gone. It's gone. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Walter? I always like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. Wasn't sure then, but now... Going to the truth. It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is Nick a good man? Or is he just like everyone else? Is he just one of those, uh, those fuckers who don't give a shit about anyone but themselves? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He saved my life. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge. Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I... I shot Matthew. But it, but it happened real fast. I didn't I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter.
rings a damn dinner bell. What the hell was that? Damn it! Transformer must have gone. Gotta check it. I could use a hand. I'll go with you. I'm going to. No! It's too dangerous. The rest of you, get this thing shut down! Spit, does anyone know how to do this? It's a bit dark. Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. Something ain't right. Yeah. I don't want some bridge. We don't have much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us! when they get close. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Run. Come on, roll, roll. No shot rock. Here we go. The knife will do. folks where's Rebecca Carver 
It's nice to see you too. <gasps> Dad! Sarah! Inside. It's you. Keep moving. Nice dive. Look at this place. Fucking place, Bonnie. Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them too? Johnny, cover that window. Whew, that's close. Tents. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh! Oh, oh. Rebecca! Oh. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. Alvin, Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. My dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? How the hell am I supposed to know? They're still outside. They can help us. Let's get out of here. Only way out is through these windows. Clem can fit. You heard him. He knows she's here. Oh. oh. Clem can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Shoot. shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. Say goodbye, Carlos. Don't look, Susie. Don't look. Dad. Ah. No. Oh. Nobody. Not that disappointing. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. Oh, never did this. Oh. Hurry! Let's see if I can get your attention. No. Ah. Right, this is the only spot I have, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Thank you guys so much for watching the episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. If you liked it, hit that like button here that J2 subscribe to my channel. And as always, I'll see you all next time.